Greetings people, it's Jared here, Wolfgang1, back to do another Transformers review. Now this week, um, I have been requested by Marcus Prime to uh, review this particular figure. And for once, he's chosen something in my collection which I don't loathe um, at all. He's chosen something which isn't a massive pile of shit, which is really, really rare for Mark, to be fair. Um, because he does love a shit bot. We know this, we all know this. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, so we're counting down, ladies and gentlemen, to the big 100, and this one he's, re he's requested is uh, is a pretty it's pretty decent. It's a very, very special one for me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the review for Generation 1 Ultra Magnus. Right, okay, so here is Ultra Magnus in his box. This is an original. Um, this was originally, I mean, it still is. Um, it's the plastic tire variant, um, which means it came with like a blue head and everything like that. I've, I have actually painted that, which I don't know if you can see that, but I'll show that off when I show the accessories. Um, I don't remember where I got this guy. It might have been eBay, it, maybe a kind of, I'm thinking maybe eBay. Um, and I'm pretty sure that I got it for a very, very reasonable price. I think 40, 50 quid, something like that, complete. Wasn't expecting it to be complete, um, but every once in a while, it's nice to be surprised. Um, so, yeah, this is the original box. Um, transformation process just there. You'll notice the box artwork shows him with a silver um, chest piece, and that, that was actually blue on the final design. Um, we're going to come around to the back of the box, and that's the 1985, 1986 battle um picture uh, as you can see we've got the uh, uh 1985 tracks there in red colors um I'll, I'll show that when i show the review um, of that and actually in this one fair enough um yeah fantastic got a little bit of spec um tech specs thing and the robot points there is still intact um so the box is a little beat up um but all in all this is a fantastic example um of this particular figure uh, very, very, very pleased. So again, thank you to Marcus Prime for requesting something for once that wasn't a steaming pile of shit. Don't worry, he's requested plenty more in the uh, upcoming weeks that will be a steaming pile of shit. Um, I have asked him to have a think and request something that's not. But you know, Mark, he does love a shit bot. So anyway, ignoring all that, um, G1 Magnus looking fantastic in his box. The the packaging the is a bit yellowed here. Magnus isn't actually that yellow. Um, um, yeah, still got the styrofoam insert, everything like that. This is a fantastic example of this piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the box and we're going to get straight on into the figure itself. Right, here is Ultra Magnus in his most basic form. As you might have all know by now, he is basically a white redeco of the G1 1984 Optimus Prime mold. And the transformation for this cab is exactly the same. It's a white prime that basically connects to the trailer. Now he's looking a lot more yellowed around the metal section and around this section here than he actually is in real life. I'm not saying that it's not slightly discolored, um, but not as bad as it's coming out on camera. There's a little bit of, uh, well, I say a little bit, there's a fantastic amount of chrome wear on the uh, smokestacks. Uh, this is a metal cab version. Now, two variants. One had the plastic wheels and no uh, glass behind the, uh, the cab front and, and a blue massive robot head. There was another version that had plastic tires, glass behind here, and the head was actually had a little bit of detail to it. Um, so I've clearly got the mass release version, which is exactly the same version as the one I had uh, when I was a child. Um, so let's put him to one side and show you some of the things that um, Ultra Magnus comes with. Okay, so he came with uh, Jesus uh, one trailer, um, which will basically be a car carrier trailer and also the main robot body just there. Um, he would have come with two, oh shit, Christ, um, he would have come with two of these um, waistband stroke trailer hitch things. Now, because I was a wanker as a child, I didn't know that this was a trailer hitch. Um, so I used to connect Magnus in the most cack-handed way possible to his trailer. Didn't know that's what actually this part here was for. Um, so he comes with two of those. Well, I'm not sure in case you lost one, maybe. Um, but yeah, so he comes with two of those. He comes with two... Uh, missile launchers just here one for the left and one for the right no discernible detail between the two you can put them in on whichever way you want um it comes with two of these missiles now my one has two this might have actually come with three or four when it was original um, but i've got two of these uh they connect to the missile launchers he comes with two large um hands that will be for the uh the giant robot mode all okay, right left and right two smaller left and right hands which are basically uh, exactly the same as the g1 prime ones so he can hold his primary weapon in either small mode or massive mode 
um, he came with, speaking of the weapon, this here, so if he wants to hold it small ways, you can hold it there. For the large robot, it will be upside down like that. Um, so nice little bit of sculpted detail on that. Um, he would have come with one text back decoder for the back of the box. Just like that. No, not interesting at all. Uh, one instruction booklet, upside down, um, showing you all the various things that you have to do to actually make it uh, this. One 1986 product sheet um, featuring the new leaders and a couple of combiners and everything. I'm not going to show this because everybody knows what this looks like. One chess piece. Um, sadly, nowhere to store it that I found in uh, vehicle mode. Um, maybe under the trailer, I don't know. Um, but that will be uh, for his massive robot mode. And finally, the large head for the robot mode focus would be nice um this was the all blue version uh if i can just get a little bit closer with some lights would be good uh there we go um i actually painstakingly painted this years and years and years ago um the g1 prime also uh, the g1 prime ultra magnus cap also has silver paint on the face but i didn't have anything to do with that uh got a little bit smudged just there but all in all this was one of my first custom jobs all in all uh, a pretty pretty good job so there we are and that's all the accessories that he comes with so uh we're back to this fucker okay um let's get some of this stuff out of the way bear with me um yeah get that out of the way get that out of the way get all these things just i don't know here uh right and uh yeah so the g1 prime cab so uh, in my games uh i used to use this as the um Return of Optimus Prime sort of coated in uh, special metals prime when I when I wanted to recreate the TV show. He's got a little um damage to his uh rub sign there. Um I might replace that at some point, but to be honest, it's not really a priority. Some of the stickers are missing on this, like the uh the back tail lights and sort of things like that. Some stickers underneath the, on, on the underside. Um would have been nice if there'd been some detail like sort of chrome out the uh, the fuel tanks and everything, but whatever. Um yeah, it there's nothing really to speak of here at all. This is the basic Optimus Prime. Um, cab. So what we want to do is we want to make him a car carrier. We take the car carrier thing. Oh Jesus! Um, yeah, I, I broke my fucking chair um, quite recently, and now I'm teetering on the edge. Uh, so what we want to do is just underneath here, we want to connect this to just here. I never did that before. Um, and then basically, Ultra Magnus will connect just like that. And then right there, there is Magnus in car carrier mode um and he's decent um you can actually put all the parts on uh, i have vodka by the way um turns very very nicely on the uh, on the trailer hitch just like that um you can open up the back of the thing just here and then you can have g1 autobots right up and now he can actually store four of these two on the bottom two on the top so i'm just going to put side swipe like that and then take him off you can even uh pull these out and lower this and then all bots can drive up onto the second level um so i'm just going to let you imagine that if you will um and basically as i said he can hold four all bots at any one time there's side swipe and there's uh there's the diaclone red tracks i've got uh it would have been nice if i got some different color all bots but whatever um and as I said, he can hold two on the top, two on the bottom, uh, personal transport unit, which I, th I think that there's a lot of playability value in that, which uh, is obviously awesome as fuck. Right, so let's get those out of the way. Um, let's uh, connect the missile to the missile launcher. And basically they will plug in like that. Oh, fuck off. And then obviously you put the other one on the other side. And that's his attack mode, I guess. Um... As attack modes go, it's pretty inoffensive. It, it doesn't get in the way. Um, on uh, later if iterations, this will be on the side, uh, just here. Um, but yeah, it's ultra in in um, alt mode. Ultra Magnus is decent as fuck. Okay, so I'm trying to rush through this because because uh, I'm, I'm basically running out of time. Um, so let, let's start off with the transformation for the inner robot now this isn't a shock to anyone because obviously let's face it everybody knows this everybody's done this 
um, with an Optimus Prime. Okay, so pull out the legs. Let's pull out the feet. Do the arms. Do the arms. And then bring up the head. So as you can see, somebody has painted in the face. That wasn't me. But I've got to say, they did a pretty fucking good job of that. Um, let's bring that up. They did a pretty good job. I'm not going to complain. Um, but yeah. So my one, I guess, is slightly customised, I guess, if you yeah, if you want to say that. Um, and then to put his hands in, let's put his hands in. One there, uh, one there, and then you can hold the primary weapon just like this, just like that. Um, and it's fine for what it is. It's, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, a lot of people wouldn't have really used Ultra Magnus like as well. I mean, I know I didn't. I played with him sometimes like this, but for the most part, he was. Um, I, I used him as uh, the, the the character intended. Um, the sort of white prime thing. Some people have, you know, always Optimus Prime's brother or something like that. Um, this was a carryover from Diaclone, where it was supposed to be powered convoy. Um, so it's supposed to be an upgrade for the original convoy toy. Uh, but in terms of the Hasbro Western release, they just made it a completely different character, which is fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and you know, and he's absolutely fine. This is the only metal part, and sadly, the, these sections aren't metal, they're, they're all plastic. But he's um, he's decent enough, I've got to say, he is decent enough. So, to take him to combined Magnus mode, right? Let's, let's take off the uh hands. In fact, you know what? Let's put the hands in his chest, just like that. And what we want to do is basically convert him half to truck mode, so back in like that, bring in the arms, just like that and then bring down the feet, okay? So we're gonna have him just like that for the time being. Let's set him to one side. And now the painstaking arsehole fucking process of transforming him to the combined Ultra Magnus robot. So we wanna start by taking this section, bring it up like that, okay? Uh, fold these out and then collapse this entire section in like this. Uh, and then this section that I just showed, the top of the car carrier, Split that to one side, like that, okay? This will then, oh Jesus, this will then go out of focus because of course it will. Um, bring this entire bit just here. Let's just get that around like that, okay? Bring that entire section just here and collapse it in twice. Once like that, twice like that. Let's do that on both sides. And then fold them back round like this. Bring them down, bring these up, okay? So what we've got there is the shell of a body that we now need to start adding shit to, okay? Oh, Christ. Right, so let's take the fucking trailer hitch off the back, otherwise it can't do it. Okay, so one trailer hitch just there goes across his, his crutch plate, just like that. Now add the weapon launchers to the shoulders, one on each side. Add the left and right fists accordingly. One there, one there. Other way would be good job, well done. And then give that we uh, his weapon, just like that. Then add the chest piece to this section just here. Just like that. So Ultra Magnus really is a parts former. Okay. Uh, then turn him out to the back, and then the prime model, the two uh, headlight sections will connect just to where the trailer hitch was, just on those two pegs there. Be careful because sometimes those pegs can be brittle. Line it up properly. Slot him in. Make sure everything's all right. Yep. And then finally, finally, give him. The large robot head and stick it on top of Prime's head. And there, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ, I don't know how I got all that in. There is Ultra Magnus in robot mode. And you know what? He's a fucking brick. He doesn't hardly move apart from his arms go around 360 on both sides and go, you know, a little out to the sides because of uh, transformation and everything like that. His legs don't move, but he's a brick and he's fucking amazing. He really, uh, do you know what? I, I really should have more negative things to say about it, but the toy is, you know, 38 years old. Um, 
and uh, still looks amazing even after all this time. The blue on the um, on on well on everything is a lot darker on camera than it actually is in real life. It's it's a very much a, a light blue on this. It's got some dust in places I wasn't able to get it off, but you know what? I'll live with that. Um, all in all, Ultra Magnus is out of focus. Um, come on, there we go. He's big, he's blocky, he's awkward, he's bulky, and he's fucking brilliant. I mean, all right, no masterpiece butt flap for this guy, um, but the fact that the white legs are on the back gives it some decent definition for where the, the you know, the legs are supposed to be, I guess, on the back. Um, you know, not too light, not too heavy, like a decent amount of weight to him. Um, he is ridiculous. Um, as all massive transformers are, he's absolutely ridiculous, and he's one of the best things I've got in my collection. He is absolutely, absolutely incredible. Um, I would heartily recommend getting one, either the original, um, the reissue, whatever you've got to do to get your hands on one, get one because he is he is imposing. He's um, I stick him at the back of the um what do you call it, the, the display case quite honestly, I stick him at the back and he towers over, every, he, he pretty much about the same height as Metroplex I think, and then two sit at the back and tower over everything else in, on the on the shelf. He is absolutely fantastic, bright, bold and beautiful. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this review, this is Gerald Gavin Barry, also known as Wolf Kang saying I will be back next week. I was supposed to do Generation 1 Skystalkers review, um, but whilst I was trying to repair it, I, I lost one of the parts I needed to actually fix um so that review is going to be delayed until such time that i found the piece and i fixed it and i've repaired it and i'm confident that it actually works so in next week we'll probably be generation one sky hopper so do look out for that and then of course uh, the week after that we have review 100 which is something i'm really really looking forward to so I do hope you check me back for that until we see each other again this is Jared gavin barry also known as wolf kang one saying thank you for watching this and thank you again to marcus prime for requesting the review and take care. And when tomorrow comes, I feel you laying by me Like you ain't got nowhere else to go